Hello everyone, it's Molonel for Chicory, and welcome to this recap on mobile gaming news. This week we finally have a release date for the RPG Wuthering Waves, but we will also talk about small novelties like Dadish 3D or Super Farming Boy, and some big games that have just been released or announced. Get comfortable, like the video to support us, and if you like this video, consider subscribing so you don't miss the next ones. Come on, let's start. We begin this recap with the pre-registrations for Wuthering Waves, I suggest you make space on your phones. The ARPG from Kuro Games announced in 2022 will release on May 22nd on the Play Store, App Store and Epic Game Store. I'll quickly redo the pitch for you. In the latest beta, as of March 17th, you could discover an open world in 3D to climb in parkour style, dynamic real-time combat, and more generally, a title that falls into the Genshin-like category, but with a darker world, that of Solaris 3, and a more structured adventure. Alternate between offense, dodge and parry, with QTE systems to prove your worth against bosses. Advance in the story and search for your memories from May 22nd onwards. The visuals are enticing, so pre-register to benefit from the launch rewards. Daddy Raddy is back for new adventures. After four installments available on console and mobile, it's time for him to discover the third dimension with the announcement of Daddish 3D Mobile. You've already been advised to try Dadish and the Daily Dadish formula with a daily level designed by developer Thomas K. On the gameplay side, you control Papa Raddy, running and jumping through levels of increasing difficulty. The formula returns in 3D in this new title with formidable bosses and enemy assaults to avoid in the form of fast food. The recipe is effective with a catchy soundtrack, humorous dialogues, and a dying retry mechanic that will make you want to push yourself to complete all 50 levels. Embark on a hamburger ride, face off against bosses in 3D battles, and search for lost Radish children worldwide in the highly anticipated release of Dadish 3D on Android and iOS platforms. We continue with Astro Knights of Veda, which has just been released. The side-scrolling RPG brings back some nostalgia on the phone. Take part in turn-based battles in this dark-themed game with an original storyline. Build your team by combining the skills of the goddess Veda's knights and dominate the tactical action phases in dungeons and against bosses. Dive into the history and rich universe of Astra Knights of Veda available for free on Android and iOS. Last Sunday, I was telling you about CD Projekt's plans to share its in-house licenses like The Witcher and Cyberpunk with third-party developers who could offer mobile ports. This week, Warcraft gets the same treatment. John Haidt responded to IGN on behalf of Blizzard that they were open to the idea of doing the same thing as Riot Games by opening their Warcraft licenses to other studios for spin-off games. I'm taking a short break from this week's mobile news to ask you to subscribe to the channel if you like our content. You are sometimes many to watch our recaps every Sunday without following us and your support means a lot to us, so remember to subscribe and activate the bell to not miss any of our videos. Thank you in advance to all those who will do it, and we resume immediately with the next news. 2048 meets bubble shooter in the game Phenomen Suka game, which is coming to mobile devices. Align identical and merging fruits together to create other fruits and score as many points as possible. As you reach more advanced fruits, score increases, even if it's a cute game with little info, be cautious of addiction that can arise unexpectedly. VNG Games has started the closed beta of Metal Slug Awakening, the latest game in the Metal Slug franchise. To access it, only one rule, first come, first served. This Android and iOS test of the game Run and Gun will last until April 10th and you can embark on the adventure solo or in co-op with up to 4 players. Enjoy a free-to-play PvE game where you must combine weapons and characters to progress like a mad shooter. With green eyes, Genshin Impact creators have amassed over 30 million pre-registrations for Endless Zone Zero release. Their post-apocalyptic F2P open world will be on console, PC and mobile soon in the coming months. Still scheduled for 2024, but with woozering waves approaching, already likely to be quite busy. We now enter the cartoon and colorful world of Super Farming Boy, which has just been announced on mobile. On the screen, it jumps, it moves, and we're not quite in the Stardew Valley style. However, the basic concept remains the same. You have to take care of your plants by planting fruits and vegetables and meeting other characters, some more or less friendly. In fact, the major difference is that the cocktail is visibly under LSD. You harvest your fresh products with combos and chain reactions. The world is filled with creatures to beat up to collect seeds, but also formidable boss fights. And besides, your gardening also undergoes original and improbable, even radioactive seasonal changes. Control side has good and simple drag and drop. In the end, we can't wait to test on mobile, even though no release date yet for Super Farming Boy. If you are a long-time mobile gamer, chances are you are familiar with Monument Valley, a series of two highly memorable premium puzzle games. 
In game, you evolve in levels with impossible geometry led by the silent princess at the end of each path by manipulating the world around her. Walking on ceiling, distorting roads, aligning incredible elements, always creating platforms in void. Above all, do it for the game's 10th anniversary. US2 Games offers goodies like wallpapers and a video celebrating this decade of existence. And besides, at the end of the video, a small timeline seems to tease the arrival of Monument Valley 3. This week, we also discover the trailer of the game codenamed G with a wuxia and fantastic atmosphere. The trailer is very beautiful but presents an open world that looks more like a CGI demo than something playable. On the other hand, it really makes you want to stroll among the lanterns at the night market in the Tang Dynasty. The game is still very mysterious, but its official announcement explains that it brings together different dimensions that coexist, such as the world of demons, gods, the realm of spirits, and that of mortals. Your adventure should take you to each dimension with its own characters, constraints, mysteries, and Chinese mythology. The year is punctuated by several major conferences and events in video games. In addition to general events like Gamescom or the Summer Game Fest, there are also developer conferences that have multiplied in recent years. We have the return of Ubisoft Forward this year, and for that you can mark June 10th in your calendars as the date to remember. For the occasion, the Ubisoft Com team is preparing a live stream from Los Angeles and streaming online on Ubisoft.com. Waiting for announcements, hoping for good news on mobile as Ubisoft has been disappointing recently. Rainbow Six Mobile is still being awaited even though Netflix subscribers were able to test Rainbow Six Simul to wait and Assassin's Creed Jad is postponed to 2025. For once, I am really curious to see what will be in mobile this year. Welcome to the post-apocalyptic world of Once Human. This week, the game opened its beta on PC after postponing it, and the player's feedback is rather good. In-game, the multiplayer survival experience puts you face to face with monstrous creatures and a devastated world in which you must craft equipment and weapons to expand your territory. You play as a metahuman who uses the power of Stardust, an extraterrestrial creature that has contaminated living beings. FYI, there's much to learn about this creature if you live long enough. Starry Studio and NetEase offered rewards for the test server launch. If you're interested in the adventure, the beta arrives on mobile on April 11th. It allows you to sign up and test Once Human on your phone before its release, still scheduled for the third quarter of 2024 according to the official Steam page. Pickpock has just launched its Match 3 Super Monsters at my condo on phone. This version includes an extended story inspired by game shows. Stack three pieces of buildings of the same color to make them disappear without destroying the building itself. Explore this mini-concept on Android and iOS for free if you haven't found what you're seeking in stores. For this time, I don't promise any fun, but it's an exploration of the jungle of novelties. Not all of Niantic's GPS games are convincing, and we see other competitors climbing the stairs of Pokemon Go and making a place for themselves on certain phones. Garden Walk is a new game in this category that calculates the number of steps you take and creates a garden based on the daily goals you achieve. Garden Walk Plant Grow Games is available on iOS for those who want to combine gardening and walking. The Crunchyroll Game Vault Premium subscription offers new titles this week. In Exos, the first game, you choose your Transformer, an armed and flying robot that blasts enemies while continuing to fly with its jetpacks. Face bosses and move in the air to collect boosts and life. Multiply your shots and pass the different levels while avoiding enemy projectiles. And for Sushi Robots, it is a puzzle game in which you have to manage a sushi conveyor belt while dealing with difficult customers. Cartoon and cute, Sushi Robots can still build pressure like overcooked if you don't think enough about the movement of the dishes. Players in Thailand, Indonesia or anywhere else in the world with their VPN set to one of these two countries can now test the early access of City of Outlaws on Android. It is a crime-focused open world that attempts to draw inspiration from the success of GTA and provides a range of missions, combat and avatar customization to transform you into a well-known gangster. Go on extreme courses to evade and conquer the world in merciless player versus player battles in the early access version of City of Outlaws on Android. The Mystery of Hagen Grow has just been released. It's a horror game developed by a solo developer. Unlock padlocks, explore a strange environment and collect items to progress. Focused on storytelling and immersion, the mystery of Hagen Grow takes inspiration from well-known titles like Amnesia. Go for it, hold on in the face of oppressive atmosphere of the dark feet, try to solve mystery of Hagen Grow on Android. Rest assured, for iOS players, the game will arrive in a few days on the Apple Store. The little colorful creatures from Dumb West to Die are always getting more adaptations. And this week, we learn that the game Dumb West to Survive is coming exclusively to the Netflix subscription on mobile. Your goal is to survive in the wild, 
At least, that's what the 10 second teaser shows and there's no gameplay yet. If you like survival games and I tell you about a world where humans are smaller than ants, you will surely think of Grounded. Well, the recent title Little Land is inspired by it for its launch on Android. The title is now available in the United States, Australia and Canada and is gradually being released in other territories. In game, you are a bit the last link in the food chain and the world much bigger than you will not give you any gifts. Harvest resources, build a shelter, craft equipment, fight bosses and tame some not so mean insects in Little Land. The Bear, a story from the world of Gra, is getting ready for its release on April 16th. This bear is a bit odd and embarks on an adventure in the world of Gra. Bizarre but endearing, these hand-drawn heroes unfold a touching and relaxing story over five chapters in a children's fairy tale atmosphere. Currently, you can only pre-register for the game, but upon release, it will be free to test and will then provide four premium chapters for the full adventure. A few updates were not covered in their entirety in this recap, but I will cover them briefly in a quick zapping. To begin, Heroes Evolved is celebrating its 7th anniversary. Russia would aim to develop its gaming industry, even if it entails maintaining a distance. StumbleGuys collaborates with D&D for the 50th anniversary of this fantasy universe. Epic 7 partners with Overlord and State of Survival welcomes the Ninja Turtles into its zombie management game. Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes is coming to PC. I hope you enjoyed the start of the server rush for the relaunch of the first touch this week. And to finish, Sky Children of the Light announces a live event in Tokyo called Skyfest for its 5th anniversary. No recommendations this week. Testing on our side. Discover latest quality releases. Check out top games of April on your phone. And there you have it. This weekly recap of mobile gaming news comes to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. And as usual, if that's the case, don't forget to like, comment and share the video. And of course, subscribe to the channel. See you soon.